guys, it's Mishy. Um, I am here to do a tutorial video for you guys. Some of you wanted to see how I made or went about making preparations for my photo shoot in Japan with Esperanto. Um, I might also go through how I made the reservations with the Pig Cafe, um, just so you guys can get a little bit of an idea if you go to Japan, um, how you can go about making those reservations. Um, so yeah, I finally have the ability and the time to do this video, so let's get to it. Alright guys, so I am here on the Google homepage where I have searched Esperanto Tokyo, which is the location that I went to. Um, I believe they also have another location in Kyoto if you're interested in that. Um, but basically you just go to the home page, which is just the first link. Um, and then, so this is the, this is their home page, um, Esperanto Studios. Um, as you scroll down, you see various things on the home page. Um, there's the make makeover, a course, makeover B course, makeover C course, um, and then various other ones as well. Um, you can go from the, the home page here, um, or you can use these tabs up here. Um, and this is the, you can also see the, the Kyoto um, location up here as well. Um, so I am actually just going to show you which one I did, which was the, um, it was a student course. This is the one that I did right here. Um, and it'll show you the price right here. Um, this is with tax. Um, so it shows you the price in yen. So you would have to like convert that to um, American dollar or whatever currency your country uses. Um, and then you can go straight to the application form, or if you want, um, you can also go up here and check out the various um, collections. There. Okay, so. Yes. So um, you can also explore the collections. Um, so, you know, they have a, a variety of different things. Um, these are just a lot of different ones that they offer, um, different types of photos. Um, if you go down here to the transformation photo, um, that's the, those are the makeover um, photos that I did. I did one very similar to this. Um, but they have a lot of different options. They provide the makeup, the hair, um, the hair makeover, the, you know, the kimonos, everything. Um, you don't have to bring anything with you. They have various different styles. It'll show you when you, you go or when you hover over the pictures. This is a bohemian, um, photo. And then um, you can also go to plan um, and down here to the transformation photo. So this will tell you kind of step by step um, how you go about making the reservation. Um, so you first choose your core selection and that's, you know, the, the student, um, the student course is what I did. Um, and then you choose your style selection and then your booth selection. Now the booth selection is um, the background. Um, that's kind of just your setting that you, you're you also able to choose um, different backgrounds for. Um, so if you go down to, um, like I did the student course, reservation inquiries, if you're ready to make your reservation, um, It'll tell you, so what I did personally, um, I emailed them actually before um, before I, I did this and um, then you can also 
do the application form. Um, you know, you put your your name in, your phone number, credentials, and then your reservation details. Um, you know, you select the date, the time, um, and if you happen to have like a, a partner or somebody who you want to do this with, you can also put their names in the slots down here. Um, so this is, if you would like a transformation photo, you choose, you would select your plan. Um, and let's see. Oh yeah, they also have like a Lolita style, which is something I was interested in, but um, you, you select the course, um, the style, um, you know, I think I did, I think I did Oran, wait, oh gosh, I cannot pronounce it, Oran, um, and then you also select your booth, um, I did, I want to say Shins. Shinshu or Kinkaku. Um, I can't remember which one I did completely, but um, and then down here, you if you would like any of these added things, um, you just click on the boxes. Um, let's see. So yeah, you just you just um, go through this uh, format. You hit apply. Um, it doesn't hurt to shoot them an email, which is which is what I did. You can also call. Um, they have the phone number on here. Um, you can call and make your reservation with them. I will note that um, if you do not know how to speak Japanese very well, I would use the online format and just um, just email them to communicate a little more properly. Um, because when I went, they, I think they, they spoke very good English, but, um, there was a little bit of, uh, mis, you know, miscommunications here and there. Um, you know, their, their English wasn't perfect. They, they definitely tried though, which I, I very much appreciate. Um, it helps to know a little bit of Japanese, which I, I knew, um, the very, very basic level of Japanese. Um, so, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, um, yeah, you just, you know, you can explore this website. You can go to the, the Kyoto, um, location and check out what they have available there. Um, they also, They also have a blog, um, so you can go and check out, you know, people's makeovers and whatnot. Um, and this is a, the Kyoto um, location here. But yeah, um, I will say it is a pretty penny. I think um, American dollars with the uh, course that I did, it costed me, I want to say, close to $130. Um, and I will, you know, a little disclaimer here um that certain courses only like they'll they'll take like 20 photos and then um they only give you two for for the price that you you pay um if you want any more after that you do have to pay an additional fee um per photo to get those photos back um which was something i didn't realize going into this but I, their work is amazing and ex exquisite. Um, I, you know, just ke keep in mind that, you know, what you're getting out of it, um, there's, there's a lot of work that goes into this. And I think it's definitely worth the pretty penny. Um, but the the photographer was amazing this shows you a little bit of inside the studio very pink guys very pink um, <laughs> um it, it gives you a photo not a photo a, a video down here um what to expect going in but 
Um, yeah, they have all these resources and they do amazing work. So if you're, um, if you're looking to get um, a, a makeover photo shoot done in Japan, this is, um, this is a very amazing experience um, and a great place to go. Everyone was very respectful. They treated me like a freaking queen. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I would give it a shot. You know, if you're in Japan, um, you know, why not? <laughs> but yeah, um, so that's my um, chaotic tutorial. And um, uh, we're gonna end this here, I think. But if you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments. Um, and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, if you have any suggestions also, as you know, same thing, but I will put both of these places in the links below. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, share with your friends, and I'll see you again next time. Maybe I'll do another tutorial. Um, for Japan or just in general if you guys like this. But yeah, thumbs up. Mwah. Enjoy Japan!